Hey guys, it's Edie Beauty Ray, and today I'm gonna be doing a story time about the time that I almost got kicked out of nursing school. Mind you that this was very recent, so yes, because obviously I'm still in nursing school if some of you don't know. Okay, so let's just take it back from the beginning. Um, me and my best friend are in nursing school together, which was which was a total no-no like for one but we don't mess with nobody like we mind our own business and you know and that's that but don't get it twisted don't do fine i'm too too over that like you go to jail for that stuff okay so so that day we had to take a test and once you get done with your test you basically if you have to go back to class then you just sit in the hallway until everybody get done so you can you know continue with class so this particular day Alexia, which is my best friend, got done with her test before I did. So I walk out the classroom and there's these little chairs or whatever where you can sit down. And she's sitting down with this other girl who is like our mutual friend or whatever. And they're talking or whatever. And so Alexia turns to me and she's like, well, you know, Susie, that's what we're going to call this girl who initiates all this mess in the first place. You know, Susie said something to me about how uh, Miss Blue, uh, which is our teacher for this class, uh, Miss Blue said something to her about Bliss, which was the president at the time, which they didn't like for some reason. Like they just wanted to make drama and issues and stuff. Well, she said to Alexia that Miss um, Blue was supposed to be talking to her about resigning from being president or whatever. And Alexia was like, uh, no, I'm not resigning. What do I need to resign for? Because, you know, I already had a talk with y'all about woo -woo, blah, blah, this and all that stuff. Well, I'm just telling you what Miss Blue said or whatever. So, Blue comes and tells me that. And so, naturally, I'm like... While she's in front of me to where she could hear me, I was like, why is she always in people's business, like, stirring up mess or whatever? Like, it don't matter. Like, it's none of your business. Why are you stirring the pot? Like, whatever. So, she heard me or whatever. And she says, Desiree. And I was like, <clears throat> like, like, I know my name, obviously. But I'm trying to figure out why are you calling my name? And you know that I don't talk to you like that because you, you are drama. Desiree and I was like I don't want to talk to you Susie because every time I say something to you you always you you your feelings get hurt well you can talk to me like a woman and whoop -de -boo, blah blah this I'm like I don't want to talk to you at all like I don't have nothing to say to you I, I don't know why you're talking to me I don't know why you're looking at me like we're not friends we're never gonna be friends like I can get along with you in a you know in a setting or whatever but don't 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 talk to me don't call my name because i i i don't care about you enough to have a conversation with you and i was like i'm definitely not gonna have a conversation with you in front of all your friends you know whatever because you know when people get in front of their friends they want to get hype and act like you know whatever and she was like well do you want to talk to me outside and i was like no i don't want to talk to you outside i don't want to talk to you in the car i don't want to talk to you uh waiting in line at walmart no i don't sam i am i don't want to talk to you she was like, well, that's real immature or something, something she said like that. And I was like, okay, whatever. So her her instigating friend, let's call her Betty Sue. Betty Sue, she started yapping at the mouth, whatever. My, she, she, she's a little, I don't know what to say about her. She's older, but she acts like she's like 16. So she started going off at the mouth. And I'm like, you know, it is really not, you know, that big of a deal. I just don't want to talk to her. And everybody else was around was like... You know, Susie, if she don't want to talk to you, why are you trying to make her talk to you? Why are you, you know, even initiating, you know, whatever. Somehow, somehow we got on the lines of something because I fell out of my chair because she was over there just straight up lying about stuff that she done done in class, which nobody really cares about. But at the same fact, like, why are you explaining yourself to me when I don't even care? Like, I already know what you do. Like, you dirty and you grimy. That's why I don't want to talk to you. And so... I stood up because I'm trying to get her friend, which is usually, she usually cool, but I just don't really pay her no mind. I was telling her, I was like, yo, baby, like, you know, just chill, you know, because you just making it worse because you just putting fuel on a fire or whatever. And then she was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I understand, you know, whatever, whatever. So then 
Susie's actual best friend was talking to the other side of us, which we're on like opposite sides of the hall or whatever. And then she goes, why are you talking to them? And woo -woo -woo -woo. I was like, bro, like what? Like you just oh, like, why are you doing that? Like what? Like you saying that somebody can't talk to us because I don't want to talk to you. That, has, that makes no sense and i'm actually really cool with her best friend which by the way if my best friend don't like you 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 it's a 99.9 .9 chance that i'm not gonna like you either so i really don't understand that so that's how it really all got started because like we were the you know obviously we were the black girls and then they're they're the white girls so obviously where they're like you know the black girls are loud mouths and blah blah this blah blah that because that's what's happening in the past so that's why i told her i didn't want to talk to her in the first place because last time i heard her feelings and then i got in trouble and i got read up and all this kind of stuff like that so then after that like i was saying i was standing in front of betty sue telling her to you know just chill out because she's just making the situation worse and especially with that comment right that she had just made that just made it a whole lot worse and so Susie. Mind you, I'm not even by her. I'm standing in front of Betty. I'm stand, standing in front of Betty Sue. She says, well, if you're not going to talk to me or something, then you need to get out of my face or something. And I was like, I'm not even in your face. I'm right here talking to Betty Sue, telling her to be quiet. And I was like, I had some books in my hand. So I threw my book down on the ground. I was like, okay, so what are you going to do? She stood up and came close to me. Bro, when I tell you I blacked out, I blacked out. All I told her was that if she didn't get the fuck out of my face, that we was going to have a problem. So, once I said that, then everybody else started coming. And I was like, no, I'm not going to touch her. I'm just telling her she needs to get out of my personal space because I don't do all of that stuff. If you're going to argue or you're going to yell or something, you need to take it over there. Don't be in my face trying to yell and, like, you know, pop fly with me because I'm the wrong person for all of that mess right there in the first place. And you shouldn't be approaching nobody, especially if y'all are in a heating, you know, in the heat of a moment. Like, why would you approach somebody that you have an argument with? Like, that's the quickest way for you to get your ass knocked out on the ground. Like, honestly, like, don't do that. And so then, at once people start coming to me and, like, trying to, you know, you know how they make it into this big thing that's really not. Like, because I wasn't going to touch her. I'm smarter than that. And so, she went down to the office and told them that she got verbally threatened and that she was scared for her life. Now, you telling me. That you're going to stand up, act like you're going to do something, and then I tell you to bag back, you're scared for your life? Girl, get the hell out of town with that shit. Like, seriously? Seriously. So, after that, we had to have this little, you know, meeting or whatever, like a whole class meeting or whatever. About, you know, whatever, whatever. If somebody tell you not to talk to them, don't talk to them. Because that was the whole, it, it could have been shut down right there had she had not talked to me. Because I was perfectly fine. I can coexist with somebody that I don't like. You know, perfectly fine. I do that like every day. So that wasn't the problem. The problem was when you try to come at me and get, and get up like you're about to do something to me. And I don't have the right to tell you to bag back. So Miss Blue, mind you, she don't really like, you know, she more on... Susie side because Susie come down there and be messy and tell her everything that's going on in the class or blah 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 this whatever whatever so she was like well Desiree I feel like that I should um you should be written up or something something because that was a verbal threat and I was like well I was scared for my life well I wasn't scared for my life but like I felt threatened when she got up like who told her to get up she could have walked away she didn't have to come approach me like she was gonna do something to me so that's why i told her to get back out of my personal space before i beat her ass that's exactly what i told her i said back out of my personal space before i beat your ass which i mean really if you want to take it as a rubber thread i guess it was but she shouldn't have been in my she shouldn't have got up and acted like she was gonna do something to me in the first place but i didn't get in trouble this time that i'm a grown woman if i if i tell you that i don't want to talk to you i can guarantee you it's for a reason it's because whatever comes out of my mouth is gonna hurt your feelings and it's not gonna be good for either one of us so basically yes and she really did try to kick me out of school for that like 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 i was the only person like she had meetings and all kinds of stuff to try and like get it to where that I got a um, charge and as a nurse 
you can't have no like assault charges you know you can't have no assault charges so that would have been the end of that like all uh, because i told you that i don't want to talk to you like but really though like it was just because she was mad that my best friend was president and you know she just she was just mad she was just mad because all she got was to be a photographer or whatever and really in nursing school you don't even need none of that stuff because it just creates drama like and then you in a class with like 50 something girls in the first place like wrong 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 they were wrong for that and people don't know how to mind their business and act like everybody gotta talk to everybody and i don't have to talk to you I'm not here to talk to you. I'm here to get an education and do this. I probably won't ever see y'all people again. And if I do, I probably am going to go the other way. Just be, just for the simple fact that, I, for what? Like, what am I going to talk to you for? So, yes. And she still keep trying to keep drama going. But don't nobody really pay attention to her because they already know how she is. And she one of those people that try to make themselves seem like they're such a good good girl and you know that they don't do this and they don't do that and she just messy as hell like just messy and she like drama like ain't nobody got time for that mm -mm. but yeah i just want to share with you guys this experience and my story time and i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys would like for me to do any other kind of videos why don't you guys leave it down below because nobody really leaves me any video. So I'll just be doing whatever I want. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.